said it. God damn. <laughs> Woo. What's up guys, my name is Cheko Moya and thank you for joining me today. So, it's a beautiful day outside and last night I arrived in Lapland. So this is my first time in Lapland. If you don't know where that is, that is basically northern Finland. And uh, so far my experience has been pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. I must tell you though, this is the first time I've been to the airport since this whole pandemic started. I was not expecting for the airport to feel so different. <laughs> it's like, it feels like, uh, you know when you watch those movies, like those end of the world movies and air airports are shut down and that kind of thing. That's, that's the vibe that I got from the airport today. Oh, yesterday, sorry. There were like tapes everywhere, like, drawings of masks and like crazy crazy stuff and it was uh yeah it was it was quite interesting but having said that i went through the whole process without any trouble you just have to wear your mask it was really nice to be on a plane again to go somewhere so the flight to levy where i'm at now was like an hour and a bit an hour and a half maybe so it was really chill but this place is quite incredible so today i'm going to be going out and seeing what sort of activities i want to do i'm mostly excited to go snowboarding another thing listen so from the time i arrived in finland one of the jokes i always made was the fact that finland is so flat there isn't too many hills uh, or mountains or whatever but here now it's quite incredible i'm seeing hills and mountains mountains <laughs> let's have a look outside i said a god damn that's awesome isn't it Perhaps I should have worn some sort of jacket. <laughs> it's pretty cold. <laughs> but this is great. The air out here is really fresh. It feels very much like Finland. Like, you know, Finland to the most extreme. So that's where we're probably going to be going snowboarding, which is going to be fantastic. But there's, there's a lot of snow here. Now as fresh and as nice as it seems outside, I was only outside for just a little bit of time. I'm going to have to get the right equipment so that I can have the most amount of fun without worrying about being cold or... Around me, I've got a few things that I'm going to use today. So, first one is these socks. So, as you can see, they look like normal socks, but inside, it's just like it's super soft and super thick. So that's going to keep some of the cold out of my feet and it's going to uh, isolate my feet basically. Boom, look at that. They're called heat holders, gloves. Super important. You know, the thing about gloves is when I first arrived here, I only ever saw like normal gloves where each finger has its own sheath. But here in Finland, you get these these mittens <laughs> and i found out that it's because when your fingers are all close together they all create warmth inside they share warmth basically it's not like an isolated uh, sheath where each finger needs to work really hard to keep warm so that's going to be super helpful too next we've got this thing now my lady showed me how to use it but i forgot is it like a scarf It 
it's basically a scarf. I haven't used this before. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> no, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> there is a way to do it. So if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure by the time that I actually go snowboarding, I will have done this properly. So don't be like, ah! You're using it wrong. At the very least, it covers my neck, but it also is supposed to cover like this area a little bit. Well, we got this thing. I guess if you just want to sit down somewhere, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Boom. Another thing that's important is long johns. So these are basically what you put underneath your clothes. There's a danger of getting too dressed and getting too warm to the point where walking up and doing any sort of movements will get you sweating inside which is why you get things like this like this long sleeve black shirt that sort of breathing material yeah this is curious as of the recording of this video i have no idea how this works it's apparently keeps your hands and feet warm but i have no idea it's like a disposable hand warm-ups I don't know my my imagination's running crazy I'm thinking you you push it and it's like and it makes a flame and you're like yeah <laughs> oh lastly we've got these are these like sort of traditional kind of cups here I'm not quite sure but we're going to be making hot chocolate and drinking them out of this when you've got time while sitting on this sipping hot chocolate with this what a day what a day lastly actually is the actual skiing pants or you get these pants that are waterproof as well as the jacket and that's all somewhere i don't have the energy to go and find it right now so that's about it i think i'm ready for this trip um i'm ready to have a fan fantastic time but anyway if you enjoying this sort of content please leave me a like and a subscription let me know if you've got anything to say in the comments below i read every comment and i try and reply to every comment this is awesome this is i'm really blessed to be able to experience this for a little bit i will be giving you another video about what i'm doing here hopefully i'll get some cool footage of myself like snowboarding down somewhere we'll see maybe maybe i'll try to throw something like that in but I, i'm going to need to get used to doing it for but first oh and i almost forgot after getting everything ready i realized that sunglasses are invaluable as you can see i don't know if you can kind of get the idea of how bright it is down outside now imagine all of that bouncing off white snow straight into your eyes so having these just like that makes you look cool and it helps you see better <laughs> look how bright it is man jeez that's crazy but apart from that have a fantastic day evening or wherever you are and be safe y'all are awesome cheers for now bye